Hello, I'm Dr. Russell Kuhn, chiropractor extraordinaire. I'm at Evergreen Wellness Ojai, and today we're going to be talking about whiplash and what can happen and how you don't have to be in some big crazy car accident to experience whiplash. Yale did a study that anything over eight miles an hour in a vehicle can cause whiplash, which is not very fast at all. The way cars are built these days, actually, they're built to absorb a lot of the force. So sometimes you look at the car and the car won't look very damaged, but the occupant in the side has been whipped around. So you're supposed to have three curves in your spine, one in your me neck, mid back, and low back. When you have a nice curve, the curve should be measuring 43 degrees. It's kind of like a waiter holding a tray. You want to see a nice curve. If my hand was like the curve, the rubber band would be like the muscles in the back of the neck they're nice and relaxed. When you get into a car accident, you can experience whiplash, and then you would lose the curve in your neck, and then the muscles in the back of the neck strain to hold your head up. So your head should weigh 12 pounds if it's sitting on a nice curve. For every inch forward, it adds 10 pounds of weight to the muscles in the back of the neck. They're calling this text neck today because people have their heads down texting. If you're texting, we wanna be up here. So. A 12 pound head with every inch forward adds 10 pounds. So a 12 pound head becomes 22 pounds, 32 pounds, 42 pounds. And all that weight forward and down, the discs begin to get thin, bone spurs begin to form, and then things begin to fuse up over here. This is not a good time for anybody. We also want to do what's called motion study x-rays. We want to see are the joints moving freely like the hinges on a door. If the hinges on a door are functioning correctly, it's nice and easy to open the door. But if you have a lot of rust on the hinges, then it takes a lot of effort to open the door. So when we take an x-ray, we want to see a lateral neutral shot to see do you have a nice curve. And then we want to do forward flexions. And then we want to go back in extension and take a shot at both. And you'll see segmentally are all of the little hinges moving freely. Or have you had whiplash where you've experienced falling off of a bike, a surf injury, snowboarding, falling off the jungle gym. All you have to do is look at YouTube. All of these parkour people and the craziness that people are doing out there, they're falling everywhere downstairs, bashing their heads. So we've all done it. You've done it. I've done it. But when you do that, you're tearing the ligaments. And then the body's natural response is to lay down scar tissue. A professor of mine in school said that we are scar tissue making machines. It's a natural defense that we have. And even in our immune systems, if people get tuberculosis in their lungs, there'll be little scar tissue that wraps around to encapsulate it. So we evolutionarily have been designed to build scar tissue in response to insult and injury and trauma. What can happen when there's been a traumatic force faster than eight miles an hour in a car, for example, that's enough force to tear the ligament and then the body lays down scar tissue to repair the tear. Then we have correct functionality of the joint. So some chiropractors don't take x-rays, unfortunately, but if you've been in a traumatic accident, you want to have a motion study x-ray, which will help pin point where the exact problem is. If it's, say, C5, C6, those nerves go to the thyroid gland, they go down the arms. Also, you can have ribs that are out of alignment all the time. It's incredibly painful. When you're in a car, the seat belt, if you're the driver's side, goes this way. But if you think about it, race car drivers have the five-point harness. When you have the five-point harness, it, it really secures you. But this one, the three-point harness, if you've been hit from the front or behind, you end up rolling around the restraint belt. And then you can get this torque into your ribs and you can throw ribs out and that can be incredibly painful as well. While taking a neutral posture x-ray is good, that's one piece of information, but we also want to see are all of the joints freely moving the way they're supposed to, or is there scar tissue that's been gunked up in there that's preventing the freedom of motion. Any joint that stops moving freely is not sending correct proprioceptive information to your cerebellum. And your cerebellum, again, is super duper underlined, highlighted, written in bold. Cerebellum is super important for telling you where you are in space, and it can only rely on the information of three things, your inner ear, your eyes, and every joint in your body. But if the input isn't clean and good to your cerebellum, and you're static on the line because the joints aren't moving freely because they're all bound up with scar tissue, then it degrades the quality of information to the cerebellum, and then the cerebellum doesn't quite know where you are, and then maybe you don't set your foot down exactly where you're supposed to, and you can trip and fall. The number one injury for somebody over 60 years old is a trip and fall, more than likely from a lifetime of having all these joints scarring up and losing more and more information to the cerebellum and then you don't quite know where your foot is and down you go. When you're in a big car accident, oftentimes people will say, oh, they go to the hospital, they know there's a big problem. If it's enough force to bend the metal of a car, then it's enough force to bend you. What's a problem is when people have low impact injuries. Remember, it's only eight miles an hour can cause whiplash. So many people will come into my office, they'll have aches and pains, 
And then I'll say, did you ever have an injury or an accident? And they'll say, oh yeah, about 10 years ago, but it was no big deal. And then I'll say, well, how fast was the accident? And they'll say it was only like 20 or 25 miles an hour. Well, that's three times the threshold for what the forces that your body would experience that can cause tearing of the ligaments. We wanna see the joints having nice thick discs, big holes for the nerves to come out, and every joint, like a hinge, is supposed to have a little bit of motion to it, and when it's moving like that, it sends signals up to your cerebellum to report that change of angulation of the joint. When you've experienced whiplash, then the vertebrae can get knocked out of alignment. And if it gets knocked out of alignment, the hole gets small and then the nerve gets pinched. And if the nerve gets pinched, you'll experience ache or pain or numbness or tingling or sharp. And the nerve has to be compressed 40% before you can even feel it. If it's only compressed 20%, you're cutting off 20% of the signals wherever that nerve goes. But you're not even aware of it because it hasn't crossed the threshold for you to perceive that there's a problem. So when a chiropractor begins to palpate your spine, they'll push on areas and they'll go, oh, that's tender right there, and you'll go, yeah, wow, I didn't realize that that was hurting, and you didn't realize it because they add the additional pressure to cross the threshold of 40% so that you can actually perceive that there's a problem there and that the joint functionality has been degraded. So this guy's not pumping and hydrating as much, it's misaligned, it's pinching nerves, and so there's a time factor here. So if somebody comes in and they've had an accident a week or a month ago, they're not gonna be having bone spurs and osteoarthritis yet. This is something that takes a long time to form. It could be anywhere from five years, 10 years, but the longer it's sitting in there and that joint's not functioning and pumping and hydrating the disc and keeping it nice and happy, then this is just sitting in there growing in your spine, almost like a cavity in your tooth. What started out as a simple misalignment that was compressing a nerve, you may have had a bit of an ache, over the years can become a very big deal. So we wanna get in and catch things as quickly as possible to restore it. We always wanna avoid this, and we certainly wanna avoid knocking the poster over, we certainly want to avoid this, bone on bone. Now you're talking to surgeons because the nerve is so compressed that you can have paralysis past this point. So if that nerve's going down your leg, you're gonna have leg problems. If it's going to your stomach, you're gonna have stomach problems. The clock on degeneration of your spine getting into this mess starts ticking the moment the joint locks up. What starts off as a small problem can become a very, very bad problem over time. So we need proper assessment. We want to see a chiropractor that's been trained in motion study x-rays, preferably digital because there's less radiation involved, to newer technology to see are the joints moving freely the way they're supposed to. This is a logical idea. We offer it here in Ojai at Evergreen Chiropractic, 805-646-9355. As soon as you take them, you'll say, oh look, that one's not moving correctly. That that one's moving great. That one's stuck also. Let's restore the range of motion to those joints, get the pumping and hydrating happening again so that the disc stays nice and big and the bone spurs never grow and instead of waiting for a big mess to happen over time. Thanks for watching the video. I know there's a million other things that you can be watching out there, like the little kitten video where it's in the ball or something. As they, I like when they put them in the box and they can't know. So thanks for watching this video. I appreciate it. I hope you learned something and stay tuned. We'll see you soon.